Let's check out how to make this insane 3D text trick here in Illustrator. For the font, I'm going to go with the Faust. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. And from here, let's go here to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go here to the window and select the appearance. Great. So now first, we're going to go and add fill and a stroke. The fill is going to be black. And I'm also going to need to add another fill. So I'm going to click on the fill. And I'm going to change up this color here. I'm going to go with the magenta. And then I'm going to go to the effects. Go to path and select offset path. Here we're going to need to offset this. I'm also going to change the joints to round and let's go and decrease it. So if you decrease it quite a bit, you can see it is going to create this stroke effect. All right, so from here, we're going to need a stroke. Here we got the stroke and I'm going to change up the color to this purple. And let's go and drag the stroke under the fill and in between the characters. Let's go and select the stroke. And I'm also going to click on the stroke options and change the corner to rounded. There you go. And let's go to the effects, distort and transform, select transform. Let's go here to the horizontal, type in minus 0.2. And I'm going to copy paste the 0.2 and paste it to the vertical. And let's increase the copies quite a bit. So this is going to create this extrusion effect. Probably going to go with like 60, click OK. Now let's go and add another fill. Click on the fill. So this fill should be between the purple stroke and the black fill. And I'm going to change up the color to white. And let's go to effects, distort and transform, select transform. And here again, I'm going to go with uh, minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Increase the copies. Probably going to go with like 18. Click OK. And let's go here to the opacity. And we're going to change up the blend mode. And here you can select the soft light. Now we're going to need another stroke. So let's go and click on the stroke button here. And I'm going to bring this stroke on the top of every each, change up the color. I'm going to go with white. And let's also decrease the stroke thickness, maybe a little bit, 0.75. And let's go to effects, distort and transform, transform. And here, let me see, I'm going to go with minus one vertical plus one. I think it looks pretty good. Click OK. And now we're going to create another fill. Click on the fill again. And I'm going to bring this fill at the bottom. It's going to be under the purple. Let's go and change up the colors. Select the orange. Let's go to effects. Distort and transform, transform. And here I'm going to push this down. Actually, I'm going to go minus 10 and it needs to go all the way down probably around minus 12, 12. There you go. Click OK. And now let's go back to the effects, path, and select offset path. And here we're going to offset this guy right here. Right now it's on 10. Choose the number that you like. I'm going to go with 7. Click OK. And about least what we're going to need to do is duplicate this fill. So I'm going to drag it into the plus, make a duplicate, scroll down. And here I'm going to change up the color. Let's go with this dark purple. And here we're going to need to change up the transform and the offset. So I'm going to bring the transform above the offset path. And let's go and click on the transform. So this should be on minus 12, 12. The offset path is good how it is. And now at least we're going to go to the effects again. Distort and transform, transform. And let's go and click on apply new effect. And here we can go to the horizontal, type in minus 1, 1. And then let's go to the copies and add copies. I'm also going to go and decrease the distance. So I'm going to go with um, 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 and then increase the copies. So now I got a nice thick effect. And that's how you make this 3D decorated text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.